Prince is back here in Panama, chilling in my hotel suite. You call it suite or suit? I'm rocking this beautiful shirt here, and it's looking good to me. I really feel like this shirt is getting me more bitches. Yeah. Now, today we're gonna talk about how to add fun and excitement to uh, girls, your interaction with girls, right? Which is very important. Many guys get this confused that just because you have value or whatever, just because you have money, girls are gonna flock to you. No, what actually makes them flock to you is how much fun, how much fun and excitement you give them. Especially in, let, let's say, especially short term, right? But also long term, right? The long you are with a girl and it's getting mundane, it's getting like, you know, it's just the same shit. Let's say you always like, you always go home and then uh, you just watch some movie and then you bang. Even if the game is like super good, right? You bang and then whatever, it's done, she goes home. If that continues just for a long period of time, this girl's just gonna get bored and leave you. Leave you for a more exciting guy. Just, 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 the, just the act of leaving and even cheating, if that adds more excitement to her life, I probably that, that she might do it, right? So let's go, go over some things that you basically you, you have to do. Number one, guys, is confidence, all right? Confidence. Now, how does confidence add fun and excitement to girls' lives? You have to understand this. There's not many people who are very confident. There's not many people who are fucking balls of steel, right? There, like, there's not many people who think like me and or think like you'll think soon if you increase your confidence. And that alone is gonna add just excitement and like new and like, oh cool, this guy actually has actually balls. This guy can just go up to people, talk to them. This guy just has no problem saying what he wants to say. It, it, it's a, it's a, it adds an air of refreshment, all right? <clears throat> it's, it's an energy around you. Now, compare it to like this, you know, guys like, oh, this, this, this. That, that guy, he's not exciting. He's just average. He's like everybody else, you know? That's why you need to increase your confidence, guys. You just need to. Now, I've talked about guys, how ways you can increase your confidence, right? You can start uh, boxing, uh, kickboxing, uh, <clears throat> because that's going to basically add to your danger. If you're a dangerous guy and you know it, you can fuck people up, you're going to walk differently, all right? You need to up your social game, which is super important. Make sure, if, if you feel scared to do something socially, right? That is what you know you have to work on. When, when I was young, I was a shy kid. I was super, when I say shy, shy is like an understatement. It, it's, I wish I could like just demonstrate how shy I was because uh, I, it, it, you will probably won't even believe it, but it, do, it doesn't matter. But I would, for example, see a girl from my class walking down the street. She would be, she's like in my class in high school. Now I would walk and she'll be on this street and the bus is like over here and we have to get through to the bus like on this street but then i would just switch streets so she doesn't see me she doesn't recognize me she doesn't look at me because that would just feel too awkward <laughs> that is how shy i was now the way i overcame this is i forced myself when i say forced i mean forced myself into social situations that made me uncomfortable and over time i became i mean basically right now i'm, I'm a fucking beast right I can get out of people what I want. I can talk to people. I'm very charismatic. And I work for it. I'm, I'm proud of it. I'm, I'm fucking, it's the truth. All right? And uh, you only get this by being, forcing yourself into uncomfortable situations. Right? Even approaching girls. If you're scared of it, like, you just have to, I mean, you just fucking have to do it. Just stop, stop being a fucking pussy. Right? The, the thing is, some of you guys, you, you don't even, like, entertain the idea of, like, trying. Just, just the act of trying is going to, at some point, make you succeed. If you try one girl's approaching girls, one year approaching girls, at some point, you get, you're going to talk to some girls, all right? So, social game, right? <clears throat> and, uh, of course, there's many other things that can add to your confidence. How much money you make, right? It's, it's, it's all connected. The more capabilities you have as a man, the more confident you get. And also, the girls are going to respect you more, right? Adding to your looks, very important. If you just look good, you're stylish, and you, you just notice people looking at you, it's going to add to your confidence, right? And now the way you present yourself to girls, you know, you're, like, more upright, right? When you hug them, you're, like, pulling in more clothes. 
closer, you know, you being a little bit more aggressive with them, you know, more charming, and uh, you can see in their eyes that they like it more. It's just, it's just gonna fucking feel different, more exciting. Now, number two, this is gonna sound a little bit unconventional, but dick game, all right? Just, just, just dick game. If you can add dick game to the way you bang girls, you're gonna automatically be more excited. When I say dick game, I mean also leading up to it, right? They always say, fucking, how, how do they call it? Is it called like pre something? You guys know what I mean. But before having sex, right? The way you talk to her, right? The way you grab her, fucking grabbing her legs here in public, right? Um, <clears throat> when you're hugging her, right? And let's say this, assuming you're already dating, right? So you hug her, you grab her by the ass when you hug her, stuff like that, you know, you whisper to her ear, th- things like that. And then when you get home, uh, you fucking throw on the bed, fucking dog the shit out of her, right? Until, until, until she's like, that's what I mean with good dick game, okay? That's going to add infinitely more excitement to uh, whichever girl you're dating. And, and she's going to get so locked to you with, that, with this excitement. Because excitement is like a drug for girls, right? If, it, it's like with power for men. If you, if you fucking inject power into a man's veins, it's going to f- fucking go insane. She's fucking powerful as shit. If you add excitement, fucking IV excitement to a girl's veins, sh- she will always have to come back to you, right? You're going to imprint her. I have this friend. She, he has like this crazy thing, this crazy act that he does to add excitement to a girl's life. So he's rich. He has Lambos and everything. So he'll have his girl in the Lambo or Ferrari, whatever he has, right? He has multiple cars. And uh, he'll drive, and then all of a sudden he'll be like, shh, 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 turn off your phone, be quiet. He's like, what? what? What's happening? He'll like park, get out. It'll be like a shady kind of situation, like uh, in, in, in the darker streets, more at night. He'll get out. There's going to be like two guys. And those are actually his friends. There's going to be like two guys. They're all looking fucking pissed, all right? <clears throat> he goes up to them, right? Looks like he wants to punch them. Like, does a fucking, you know, weird weird, weird handshake, kind of like, you know, like this, aggressive, gets an envelope, looks at them again, walks off, goes into the car, drives off, says, gives, gives the envelope to the girl, says, Countess. The girl's like super scared. Is everything all right? Is everything all right? What's happening? Everything's all right now, babe. Count the money. She counts it. It's like 13 grand in it. She said 13 grand. He says, okay. He does it a couple of times. When the police comes, he's like, uh, uh, sh- shut down your phone. Be quiet. Right? Acts all scared. Best is, he says, like, if the police actually stops him. Right? Because, I mean, nothing's happening. Right? It's just a fucking traffic stop. But that is literally an act that he does. And once he does that, it's like it adds so much fucking excitement to a girl's fucking blood. Like, IV, straight IV into the veins. Pure excitement. Like a drug. The girl, the, the girl is never going to forget this ever. All right? You're going to fucking imprint her. No guy can match up to this type of excitement anymore. And that's what you want to do. You want to add excitement. Now, actually, we're on dick game, right? <clears throat> but dick game is super important. The, the stronger your dick game is, the, back then, right? Obviously, now I'm making more money. Back then, and I talked about this in the previous video, I had zero money. So I would go on dates. And I wouldn't know if I could pay for the date because I only had like $10. I'll try to keep the date as cheaply as possible. Now, uh, even back then, I was obviously still getting girls. And I was getting girls that would stay super long for me. And mind you, I had nothing to offer. <laughs> it, like, I was just a... If I say I was... I don't want to say I was nobody because that would be like I'm kind of talking back. But I was... I was not making money. I couldn't like bring the girls to like super exotic places. I couldn't like travel. I couldn't I couldn't do all that shit. I had nothing to offer in that way. Except for one thing. Dick game. Making her come multiple times every single session. And mind you, you know, I preach on here and that's gonna be the next thing, right? Not having like boring and mundane things happening over and over again, doing the same thing if you're dating a girl long term long term. All of it with this one girl is Go to her place, because I didn't even have, even have my own place. Go to her place, you know, watch a movie. It would literally always be the same thing. So I would text her, hey, you want to hang out? She'd be like, sure. Go to her place, watch a movie. Then after like 20 minutes, fuck her. Watch the end of the movie, go home. <laughs> that would literally be... I did this for one whole year with this girl. Like every week or two. 
All I had was dick game. That's all I had. That was enough to make this girl fall, up, fall in love with me. Now, number three, spontaneity. Is that how you fucking say it? But you gotta be spontaneous, right? That's where making money comes in, where it becomes very handy. If you have more money, you can just do random shit. I just came to Panama on three days notice, just randomly, cause, because I could. Now, obviously I have something to do here, but if I was broke, I wouldn't have been able to do this, okay? I, if, if I'm with a girl, I, I, I told you before that I couldn't even afford fucking getting girls on dates. Now, with my main chick, you know, I, I, I get her from work, and uh, I'll be like, hmm, isn't there like a boat rental like right here? She'll be like, yeah. I'm like, okay, let's, let's get a boat. Because I can. And, and girls love that shit. Just fucking being spontaneous. Walking around the city. Oh, cool. There's this fancy restaurant there. Let's try it out. It's like dinner is like, I don't know, like 20, 20, 30 dollars each. Paying like sixty dollars, and then we drinks like seventy, eighty, and just just getting girl on instant date, wasting like twenty five dollars. She doesn't want to even go home. Fuck, who cares? Fuck it. That's what I mean. You gotta be spontaneous. That's where money comes in very handy, right? Oh, let me just buy a fucking Lambo and have chicks in it and drive just drive around for fun and post on Instagram. You can't do this if you're broke, guys. That's why you have to fucking get money. I mean, there's no way around it. At some point, you have to get money. Of course, you can get by with it, like looking really good and having good social game, right? And just playing a numbers game, you know, for every like hundred girls, you get like like five to ten percent. I mean, that's already like you know, if you're doing it on Tinder, it's very easy, right? <clears throat> just get a hundred matches in a month, fuck like five to ten girls. It's already like probably like twenty twenty times more than the average guy fucks in in, in, in his fucking lifetime. That's like around fifty to eighty girls a year, right? But still, if you have more money, you can just do more random shit and girls are going to, you know, respond to it better. It's really that simple. Now, obviously, with the money part, let's put that aside. Just don't do mundane and same shit every single time. If, even if you don't have money, at least you can this time go on a walk here. That time go on a walk there, right? And then uh, you mix it up with like staying at home. Then one time you suddenly don't have time to meet up, meet up with her. You just skip a week. And all of a sudden, he's like, okay, let me, uh, let me pick you up here, or let's meet there. That's just random shit. Then you, you just bang her really good. You, you just bang her on the beach if you have a beach. That's what I mean with being spontaneous, okay? So you got to add all that. Now, if you want to learn how you just can use money, right? I talked about this. Money and this all high-value shit and how, if it even matters, and how you can use money to get girls. Then make sure you watch my last video, right, where I talked about, how much high value actually affects you getting women. 